is that they're about to give eight children to a woman who is mentally unstable and mentally unfit. No matter how much money we give her, what's going on inside of her is still not being fixed. Well, you know, Dr. Lieberman's complaint also claims that the help from Angels in Waiting is enabling the Octomom's addiction to fame and, and being a, quote, media starlet. Um, Tamara, does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't make sense. I mean, first of all, We do have to end it there, but maybe she will take you up on, on your I, offer at some I point. Dr. So. Carol Lieberman, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. your time. So is Dr. Lieberman right? Is it just a matter of time before Octomom's luck runs out? Join me tonight for a fired up debate in New York. Cooper Lawrence, who is a psychologist and author of this book, The Cult of Celebrity. Also joining me tonight in Chicago is attorney Tamara Holder. Okay, I do want to begin with Dr. Lieberman's complaint that Angels in Waiting is a temporary band-aid that after a short time, Octomom's luck will run out and that she will be in trouble. Cooper, do you agree? Well, I don't know enough about angels in waiting. I mean, from what Dr. Lieberman says, I guess yes, but that's not the issue. The issue is that they're about to give eight children to a woman who is mentally unstable and mentally unfit. No matter how much money we give her, what's going on inside of her is still not being fixed. Well, you know, Dr. Lieberman's complaint also claims that the help from Angels in Waiting is enabling the Octomom's addiction to fame and, and being a, quote, media starlet. Um, Tamara, does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't make sense. I mean, first of all, with all due respect, this doctor is a self-proclaimed media psychiatrist. And she talks about a temporary Band-Aid, but how about the temporary Band-Aid of sending the kids toys in the mail? I, I mean, I just, it doesn't make sense. Look, these kids haven't even been released from the hospital. Give this mother a chance. Whether you think she's addicted to fame or drugs or anything, I mean, I'm not saying that she's addicted to drugs, no, but you can't give you know, a woman a chance. You're it's claiming not about giving her is a chance, Tamara. Give her a chance. To, a, a chance yes, to what? It a chance is about to giving screw her a up, chance. A chance to screw up these children's lives. That's the idea. Whether you feel, however you feel about Dr. Liebman, I understand, but it's the idea that psychiatrists and psychologists, even Dr. Phil, all over the country are saying, don't give this woman a chance. Go in and help those children before they have the opportunity to be emotionally neglected. But Cooper, do you think okay, um, well, she should take it as far as Dr. Lieberman said to give up the children for adoption? I'm sorry, what did you say? Okay, well that's do the you court. The, the court is... Go ahead, Tamara. Look, the court is supposed to decide the best interests of the children. Not Dr. Phil, not Dr. Lieberman, not these psychiatrists that want to come out on TV and give their opinions. If there is something that, that is a problem here and we have the, you know, the children are at risk, then the courts must decide that DCFS will get involved, and it's not just a letter from, from the, you know, a psychiatrist. It is an evaluation. These kids have not even been released from the hospital yet. Let them go home, and let's see what this mother is capable of doing. Maybe she can take care of these kids. Well, speaking of them being released from the hospital in brand new developments today, the Octomom is speaking out after the hospital did not release at least two of her babies to go home. In a new interview with Radar Online, Suleiman explains what happened. Watch this. They were going to have them come home late at night tonight. It's just the house. I actually was talking to them. I want, there was a new uh, duct system had to be placed in place and put in place, and then they have to now check for a leak just in case. I want the gas company to come out and check for a leak. It's, and they get all the CO2 monitors throughout the house. Okay, so it doesn't sound like a big delay, but Cooper, do you think the hospital has any additional concerns besides the condition of the home? I think everybody should have concerns because instead of being home preparing for her children, she was out in Disneyland having a good time. It's just bizarre behavior from somebody who's trying to fight for these children. The, the two things don't go together. Well, and speaking of Disneyland, she did spend some quality time with her older children at the amusement park over the weekend. That did, though, get people really fired up, flooding the Showbiz On Call phone lines. Cynthia is furious over Octomom's perks. Listen Octomom to this. Octomom is getting exactly what she wanted. Every penny, everything. Designer bedrooms. What's wrong with going to Sears and doing her bedroom? Dr. Phil just handed her over everything on a silver platter. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. People just go and make babies and expect the rest of the world to pay for them. I can't believe it. 
Okay, now Cynthia, not the only one outraged about all of this. Octomom's in Disneyland, Octomom reportedly buying expensive cosmetics at MAC and all the while asking for help, asking for donations. Tamara, isn't the sympathy for Octomom and her 14 children gonna run out at some point? Oh. I don't know if it's going to run out, but look, I'm in court every day where I see children and parents who are struggling. And, you know, maybe she bought too much makeup at MAC. Maybe she took her kids to Disneyland. But at the same time, you have to give this mother the ability to care for them. And the fact that but they're making see, sure that the... Do you see people the, the, with 14 the, children at a time? You don't see them with 14 children. That's the concern here. Not that she has two or three kids. Two or three kids, let them go home and see how it goes. But 14 children and one unprepared mother. That's why people are all up so in arms So you're the one this. to decide how many children is enough? I mean, there have been yes, plenty when she of asked families me to that pay have raised for it, When children. she asked for donations, out of my pocket, I have the right to tell her what I think about her. Yes, she's asking and we me will for end my it right there. You know, we will continue this discussion, I'm sure, later on. Cooper Lawrence, Tamara Holder, thank you both for your opinions. Thank you. We do thank appreciate you, it.